Hey everyone, so last night we got our first look at Midjourney V5. So today we're gonna to take a look at some images from it and I'm gonna let you know all of the details that they dropped about it. So this is an image from V5. Something I should probably note is that this is coming from a ratings ranking system that they are currently running right now. Uh, Midjourney has a disclaimer that basically says these images are plain, boring, and unopinionated um, to help the system learn whether V5 should have a different style from V4. So the thought is while this is V5, it's not really the showy version of V5. We're gonna be getting that next week. And from what I understand, we're actually going to be able to start using V5 next week and those results will be much more stylized. But I think even in the sample images, if we dig deep enough, there's a lot that we can uncover about what we're going to see in V5. Another V5 model, this one in the style of vintage photography. This looks really good. I think that we've all run into that problem in the past where when you have a subject that's sort of looking off to the side, you kind of get that cross-eyed thing. This looks like maybe we've got that figured out finally. The hair looks really great and on point for that era. The eyebrows look really good as well. Oh, this is another cool image. So currently Midjourney V5 is outputting at 1024 by 1024. It's only going to be in a square aspect ratio, though they are working on bringing, you know, 2, 3, 3, 2, and 16, 9 into the fold pretty soon. I am really anxious to see how things are going to look in different aspect ratios, as they have said that composition and posing is supposed to be greatly improved in V5. Meanwhile, in this image, I think this very much shows what Midjourney has always been really good at, which is being able to composite images together to make it look like they're actually in the same environment. This is something that I always feel that a lot of other image generators don't quite nail, that look of cohesion that I think has a lot to do with lighting. In this case, we've got that soft depth of field in the background and what would look like basically studio lighting on this Cobra, I guess it's a Cobra. I don't know, what, I don't know my snakes that well. But with the lens artifacting and sort of this mist or smoke coming around it, I think it really ends up buying to make it look like it's an actual photograph. Zooming way in on it, we'll have to see what the textures look like. This is obviously a fairly compressed image, so, you know, pixels galore. But I am very curious to see what the textures are gonna look like when we have the full model. Moving on to a cinematic style look. Uh, the model here looks fantastic. I think this is a good indicator that V5 might be able to handle multiple subjects as well, considering that you have these robots back here that are fairly detailed. A lot of times I've noticed in Midjourney V4, when you start putting different subjects into an image, the details on the secondary subject really start to fall apart. They may have figured something out here. Granted, our background robots here are uniform and slightly out of focus, but still multiple characters in a photorealistic style is something that would be amazing. It was also announced that V5 on launch is gonna be a little bit on the slow side because it's so GPU intensive, but that we're gonna have tiling, so that's cool. I'm pretty sure this is John Cena, but hey, check it out. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and then I presume a thumb is back there. We have hands, like real hands. So a couple of other things that I noticed here, the skin looks really good. It doesn't have that sort of like waxy texture that like early V4 and V3 always had. The anatomy looks really solid. Uh, if you've been around Mid Journey for a while, you know that Midge loves her buff dudes. So this is kind of a gimme, but you know, little things like, you know, the veins on the biceps, that sort of thing. Um, again, going back to that idea that Mid Journey is so good at, at compositing its foreground image to its background image, those little subtle differences that your eye doesn't necessarily pick up on, but your brain does, you know? Another image where the lighting looks super, super good. Uh, textures on the floor look fantastic. Reflective surfaces. Yeah, this looks really, really, really promising. Another cinematic looking image here. This looks fantastic. Um, I think if you were to up-res this and tell me that it's a screen grab from a TV show, I would have no reason to doubt you. I did get a Gail Godot. Although I don't think that this is gonna be possible when V5 publicly releases. Midjourney tends to obscure famous faces for obvious you know, ethical and deep fake reasons, but it is interesting to note that V5 is definitely able to do it. So I'd still have my fingers crossed that V5 will have some better image training in terms of being able to create your own characters. Eh, we'll see. Here's that paper cut style that I really like. It looks really good. I like the depth of field and vignetted blur on it. This looks really nice. Here's an image that has that as an 80s sitcom prompt that was kind of blowing up a little while ago. The hair looks so good in this and the teeth are actually are really, really, really good. The catch light in the eyes look really good and actually zooming in. Yeah, I mean, we'll be able to tell when we can up res, but I think we're getting some really good eyelashes as well. So yeah, the detail is getting 
pretty insane. So this was cool to see that, you know, we have a watch with a 12, a three, a six and a nine on it you know, actually accurately in their correct places. That said, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up too high because we've also got a calculator here where the numbers are, you know, kind of a mess. So numbers haven't been quite figured out yet, but that's okay. That's not something that I think that any art generator is it capable of yet. Another shot that's kind of in an interior design style. Um, this looks really fantastic. I think that if you were to up res this, if I just took a quick glance on it, I would just presume it was from some like interior design magazine. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing. Before we move on to the next image, if you're enjoying this video, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I'm covering a lot of creative AI tools with a pretty big focus on mid journey, and I'm really trying to grow the channel. So, you know, if you could take a moment, it would be greatly appreciated. Here's another great, you know, slightly weird one, uh, but check out these hands. They're really, really, really good. Yeah, man, these are actual hands that look like they're holding things as well. Mid Journey is still gonna Mid Journey from time to time. We got this hilarious image uh, with this dude finding a new way to consume beer. I'm okay with this. I really hope that this doesn't completely go away. There are times when you're in an intense work mode and you're trying to generate images and then something like this comes out and it just breaks the tension and completely cracks you up. Again, I hope these buggy weird images never go away because I, I mean, I love them. I love them, they make me laugh. But looking past the nostril chug, uh, we do have five fingers on this hand, five fingers on this hand. So looking really, really good. Here's another cool image that sort of blends an anatomy book with, I don't know, maybe like furniture blueprints. This one kind of blows me away. It's unfortunate that we're kind of looking at such a low res image because there's so much detail in here. It's crazy. Concept art stuff, uh, kind of in that Shinkawa um, Metal Gear Solid style. So have, hasn't lost a beat there, looks great. Portrait photography looks really good. Again, if you were to up res this and show it to me, there's no way that I would ever doubt that this was not a real person. They also made an announcement that they're looking at a new image to text slash describe feature that you can run against an image to get a text prompt out of. Kind of like what Clip Interrogator does, I guess. Apparently that requires V5 to run and it is going to run a little slow, although they are working on ways to make it faster. So we can expect to see that in a few weeks. I wanted to take a quick look at some images that I found on Twitter. This is from John Finger, at Mr. John Finger on Twitter. Uh, cinematic style again. This looks really, really great. The bouquet back here looks really fantastic. Um, the hair is, I mean, it's so good, like with these sort of strands, like very realistic. Uh, skin looks great. Catch lights in the eye look fantastic. And again, going back to that thing of like the character is looking off to the side and you're not getting any kind of like cross-eyed looks. Um, yeah, lips look great. Armor design looks fantastic. Matt Wolf, whose channel I'm sure you guys follow, uh, if not, you should, because it's really good, uh, posted this image up on his Twitter and it looks remarkable. The teeth are really good and that skin texture looks really amazing. It, you know, again, this is not an upscaled image, but you can tell that if you were to, you get some like pores and pockmarks in here, the neck wrinkles. Yeah, this is really kind of, super sick. The lighting on the hair here is really remarkable as well. And right down to like the sort of blown out light here. That's yeah, this is really, really good. And here's a really impressive one from Dan Lev at Dan Lev. Um, this is remarkable. I mean, coming in and zooming in here, these skin textures are remarkable. I mean, we are long past the day of the wax museum of mid journey V3. This looks great. Other stuff that I'm really impressed with here is catch light in the eyes and the eyelashes. Eyebrows are really great. All of this is just really, really fantastic. It's pretty remarkable. I cannot wait to play with V5 next week. But now that you've seen some Mid Journey V5 images, you might be interested to see what's happening on the DALI front. They just released a new model and it's pretty Mid Journey level. I did a prompt to prompt shootout with it yesterday. So definitely check out that video. I think it's going to surprise you. And with that, we'll see you soon.